Welcome to Town TV, another edition of In the Dugout. Today we are with Lewis, goalkeeper. Welcome. Hi, mate. Hi, mate. All right. You doing, pal? All right. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, how's it feel playing for your local club? Yeah, it's great. Uh, nice and local. Um, playing with a lot of a lot of the lads that I went to school with, grew up with. Um, so yeah, it's good to know about um, you know what the community is about, what the club's about. Uh, that you know the youth setup that we've got. Um, I've played for you know the reserves. Um, so I've come through all that, know a lot of the people that are playing for the over 35s and things like that. So, yeah, it's good to know what the club's about um, and be local to it and see people talking about it. Um, so, yeah, it's good. It's good. Nice um, what's it like seeing junior players from the club coming down and watching the team? Yeah, it's great. Um, I mean, last week I think we got just over 200. 200 yeah, so, yep. um, obviously a free entry day. But, yeah, it's great to see more people come in, um, especially if we can take advantage of when... You know, it's international week or, you know, Wednesday or United at home, uh, or away, sorry. Um, obviously, we've got Sheffield Club to compete with, which um, can be a bit of an issue. Uh, but it, it'd be good if we could, you know, when they're away, um, get some of that support. But, yeah, we're definitely moving in the right direction for the gates and obviously uh, bringing the juniors through to watch that. Uh, brings mums and dads down, so on and so forth. So, yeah, it's, it's good for the club. Good stuff. Have you seen much change while you've been at the club? Um, yeah, a lot of change since when I first started, um, when we were in the Central Midlands, um, uh, obviously won promotion with that and it's sort of, this year particularly, starting to change from sort of being a survival club to sort of moving up in the league. Uh, when I first joined we were always at, at the top of the leagues in the Central Midlands fighting for promotions um, and then to get promoted into the North East Counties we then turned into a survival team which is a bit of a change of mindset not turning up every week expecting to win um, but this this year seems to have changed we've got some good players in um, obviously Millie Sids and uh, Jinna uh, got us all working well so yeah it's good to look up rather than behind um, and yeah a lot's changed in the club itself as well um, putting a bit of money and a bit of effort into the club uh, the surroundings the clubhouse um, so when we do get the big crowds and stuff like that, it's enticing people back. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's a big, big step forward. I think. I would have thought you'd be on town TV. <laughs> Who would have thought it? <laughs> yeah, love it. Okay, um, who's the better communicator at the back, you or Stu Hill? Um, Stu probably talks a lot more than I do. That's not to say he's a better communicator, because a lot of what he says isn't necessarily uh, <laughs> worth repeating. So uh, yeah, we're both quite similar in character, uh, although we'll not accept that, but we are. Um, and we like to look after other players. Sometimes we perhaps don't put that across as the best way that we can. We're both sent frustrated centre forwards, so we sometimes get uh, a little frustrated with Fez or whoever might be up there. Uh, but it's with the good, you know, best intentions. Um, but yeah, we can get a bit over the top sometimes. I'll go for me, definitely me. Yeah. Good stuff. Where can the team go this season? Um, we've had a good start, but I think. We don't want to get carried away with that. Um, we're probably we're probably pushing top half. I think if you'd have given Millie tenth spot at the start of the season, and the lads would have took that. So yeah. anything around there would be a really good season. Last season, fourteenth, I think, which was the best that the clubs finished yeah. with the highest points. So yeah. I suppose it's just about improving and getting yeah. better than that. So yeah, anything top ten. I mean, FA Cup would be brilliant if we could qualify for that. But I think that was probably more like top eight. So it yeah. might be a but the, for the club that we are and what we what we provide, I'm not going to start saying that we don't pay because everybody talks about that, blah, blah, blah. But we have to be realistic with what we want to achieve. So, yeah, I think top 10 would be a, a fantastic result this season. OK, last one. I um, need to talk to you about scoring a goal. Recently, you've scored a diving header. Flew into the top corner in the last minute of the game. Yeah. Was it on FIFA 18? No, it was for the, uh, for the reserves, actually. Uh, Brownie. Strangely enough, came to do some gardening at my house in the morning and asked if I'd mind sitting on bench for him. So um, I said, yeah. Um, and yeah, 10 minutes left, nil-nil. He took me on up front and yeah, scored a diving header in 90th minute, I think it was, and yeah. we won 1-0. So yeah, it's. Uh, I used to play up front years ago. Um, so yeah, it's uh, something that I've missed, I must say, that feeling of scoring a goal. And it, yeah, it was brilliant, brilliant to score. Quality stuff. Yeah. Brilliant. All right, Lewis, thank you very much. Cheers, see you. Best of luck for today. Thanks, mate.